home dry and your family safe from mold and mildew. When there's a leak, call Surf and Turf Roofing and Gutters. We offer emergency tarps, leak detection and repairs, replacement roofing, skylights, gutters and gutter guards, and maintenance plans. Financing available, visit www.surfandturfroofing.com. Happy Wednesday, everyone. We're finally starting to cool down, but all the way through till 8 o'clock tonight, we still have our heat advisories and our excessive heat warnings. The good news is we're going to be a lot cooler for the next couple of days, below average temperatures in the 70s. But in order to get that, we have to deal with a cold front sweeping across our area. That's going to give us a chance for some pretty strong storms overnight tonight. Taking a wide look, we have storms kind of firing through northeast Pennsylvania as well as out towards West Virginia. We have a couple of strong storms. So we're keeping an eye on both rounds of activity. I think what's moving through southeast uh, or northeast PA is going to head more towards North Jersey. It's the West Virginia activity that we are keeping a very close eye on. We're still included in that scattered chance for severe thunderstorms. I think a lot of the energy will be missing us either to the north or hopefully even to the south. But we are still concerned about some strong wind gusts. Even if we don't see uh, severe thunderstorms, we're still going to see that wind kind of ramp up as some of those storms do move across our area. We got that 10 percent chance for damaging wind speeds for overnight tonight and into tomorrow. We're also concerned about the risk for some flooding. We're going to see some really impressive rainfall rates with the storms that do roll across our area. So localized flooding is, of course, a concern. Let's put everything into motion again. That front causing those storms for northeast PA. Some of that activity is going to try to roll down towards central Jersey. A couple of thunderstorms later on right around midnight for South Jersey and for our area. But we still have to deal with the energy that's out towards West Virginia. That's that's this right here that'll be rolling down towards our area, kind of impacting also Maryland and Delaware for the early morning hours. So I really think between midnight and maybe 3, 4 a.m. is the sweet spot for us to be dealing with thunderstorms. Wednesday, we don't really do that nice 180 where we see the uh, moisture clear out and the sunshine return. Instead, we're going to have a couple of those clouds still lingering for the bulk of the day, followed by another chance for some scattered thunderstorms or scattered sh rain showers, forgive me, for your Wednesday or for your Thursday evening and into your Friday morning. Again, not widespread, nothing too crazy, but we're just not going to see the beautiful clear air that we kind of like to see with these cold fronts. What we are going to is cooler temperatures. We're going to drop down into the upper 70s for tomorrow and Friday, warming back up into the 80s for the weekend, and then cooling down for the start of next week. As far as the seven-day forecast is concerned, we are going to see multiple chances for showers, maybe even a couple of thunderstorms again Thursday night into Friday, and even Saturday night into Sunday. We could be dealing with a few storms as well. Okay, hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. I'll check back in with you later on tonight with your bedtime forecast.